So I had a question. One of my big objections to Islam is that, according to the Sahih Hadith, Muhammad married Aisha when she was six, and he consummated the marriage with Aisha when she was nine. So um, I think you then went on to say that at the time when Muhammad and Aisha lived, there was no objection. There was no objection. No. So just we're just summarizing what we've discussed so far. Yes. So my response to that was, you don't know if there was an objection. You don't know. Read not, the history, Islamic history. Not all of history is recorded. Source, historical sources are biased. So I wouldn't expect, I wouldn't expect a Christian source to be recording things that are embarrassing to, for example, the Byzantine emperors who were Christian. Um, but likewise, I think the most important point here is we don't know if people objected because not every historical event maybe is you, recorded. Maybe you don't know, but uh, you know if you read the. Any Islamic history, mm. even non-Muslims say that at that time there was no objection. At, besides, mm. Although that the Prophet, you know, he was very much hated by so many Arab pagans, okay. but no one, no one blamed him for this kind of marriage, because okay. that time, that, that time this was very normal. Besides that, you know, at that, as I told you, the hot area, the woman is becoming, you know, becoming uh, uh, okay. adult or that she, she can handle this kind of marriage. Okay, so let me respond. You made two points there. The first one was that at the time when Muhammad and Aisha lived, this kind of marriage was normal. And the second thing you said is that women matured earlier back then. Is that I, I, right? Can I add another point? Can I just respond to this okay. two and then add another point? Okay, so let's address the point about women maturing earlier back then. I'm going to cite a number of sources. Keith Hopkins, in his book Brother and Sister Marriage in Ancient Egypt, Joanne Marie Robinson Blood, in her book Thicker Than Water, and B.D. Shaw, in his book The Age of Roman Girls at Marriage, all of them said that Roman women married in late teens to early 20s. So here we are addressing, here we are addressing late antiquity. Jewish girls married between the mid-teens to early 20s, and that's according Here to... Here in Britain, before, let's say, 100... No, 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 let me just finish what I'm saying. We're talking about exactly the time when Muhammad and Aisha lived. I'm bringing sources from the time when Muhammad and Aisha lived. Michael Sadlow, Jewish marriage in antiquity. Um, he, he, uh, also, Soranus of Ephesus in the second century pointed out that there are risks if girls marry too early. And all of them point to the fact that Jewish girls in late antiquity and the early Middle Ages married in their late teens to early 20s. So it's not, it's not right to say that marriage with nine-year-olds or six-year-olds was right at the time and it was practiced. See, actually, you need to give me a, a, a scientific proof or a medical proof that it is not, it is not yep. healthy for the woman at that time. First yep. of all, second, as I'm telling you, the the Prophet peace and blessing him, he he not just married one uh, Aisha, he married other women. Mm -hmm. Many of them are divorced. Yep. Many of them are widows. Yep. So, what is your? How can you? How can you explain this? Can you explain it? What, what is if the point for making that well, I need to explain? Uh, my point is that if he's looking only for the young girls, because many haters now, they think that the Prophet, he was only looking for the, the young yeah. girls, then how can you explain that he married a, a divorced woman, yeah. a widow, yep. and a woman older than him? The first, by the way, Khadija, the first woman, yep. she was older than him. She was older than him. So I agree is, with that. What is your yeah. point? How can I, you explain it? Yeah, I have absolutely no problem with that. I agree that's what your sources say. No, I want your explanation. Yeah, yeah, How let do me you explain. Let it? me get to that. Let me get to that. Right. So, people who are attracted to children may be either exclusively attracted to children or non-exclusively attracted to children. Even today, there are people in prison who are attracted to both children and adults. So that's my what explanation. What do you mean by By the way, he, he married her. He yeah. didn't have her a girlfriend for one night. Yep. So you have to be careful about this. Hmm. It was a marriage. You know what yep. is a marriage? It means that, that he built a, a family yep. and there was he was very well known. Yep. It was not a, a just a girl for one night and yep. then he left her. Be careful. This is very important. 
it was a marriage, mm. okay? A plus, as I'm telling you, so many haters at that time, everyone he tried to disprove that he's not a prophet. He, he, they wanted to disprove that the Quran is not a, from God. So they will find it a good, a very good chance, a golden chance for them to say, well, see, this man is looking for the guy, but no one, no one blamed him because yeah. this is normal. And, 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 and yeah. he married many other women. Okay, so a few points there. We already addressed the points about no one. Sorry, sorry, I'm trying Go to... On. Just because it's coming now in my mind. Yeah, here in Britain, before I think 100 or 200 years, mm -hmm. there was an early marriage here. Do you yep. know? The, yep, so... Do you know about this? Do you want to say anything more no, or no, should just, I respond? Okay, just, right. So, the age of consent around Europe is currently somewhere between, depending on the country, uh, I think Albania is 14, for most other countries it's 16 to 18. Back in time, that used to be lower. 16 to? 18. Between 16 and 18. That's what I'm getting to. Please recheck. That's what I'm getting to. So, in history, there, was, there were definitely times when the age of consent was lower. But it was never, never as low as 6, and the consummation of the marriage was not as low as 9. See, the 6, as I told you, it was just an engagement. Yep. The actual, actual sexual intercourse was happening on by 9. Yep. Okay? Yep. So, I so, don't know... It, you, sure. are, you are, see, the, the, see, I'll tell you, the problem here is that you are bringing something no one other blamed him for. So Why you are bringing okay. after, let's say, 1,600, okay. okay. things that no one blamed okay. him for that? Let me respond. So, even if we accept that absolutely no one at the time blamed Muhammad for consummating his marriage with a nine-year-old, even if I grant that it, this is exactly right, even if that's true, all it shows is that the people around Muhammad at the time of Muhammad were morally depraved individuals. M because morally deprived? Depraved individuals. And that is because... You're giving judgment. Sexual intercourse with a nine-year-old, no matter where and no matter when, is always wrong. You see, actually, this is subjective. You know why you said wrong? Based on what, Rodi? What is criteria? The criteria of today is different than the criteria of, 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 of yesterday, different than the criteria of 15 years back. So I, how, based on what you are saying wrong or right? Okay, so I'm saying it based on the fact that it is objectively wrong to have intercourse with a nine-year-old. Can and you, that do is you have a proof, scientifically proof, medically proof? Do yes, have? yes, you sure. Any, can you share with me any source? Yeah, sure, we'll get to that. Mortality, mortality among women who give birth before the age of 15 is about 80% higher than among women who give birth after the age of 15. Okay. The, right, in terms of how the human brain works, I believe it's the frontal cortex, don't quote me on that, but essentially the parts of our brain that control um, our ability to make rational decisions and to understand the consequences of actions, fully develop by around the age of 18. So if you're nine, you can't make a decision and you can't really, like, you can't really consent to marriage at that age. Okay, let me give you a, a fact. Do you know that Aisha, peace and blessings be, be upon her, she was a scholar? Sure. And she was giving and teaching the Muslims after the death of the Prophet so many authentic hadith? Yeah. Okay, let me tell you another fact. Do you know the wisdom behind marrying, behind a prophet marrying a young wife? What is it? What, do you know? No, tell me. So, see, the prophet, you know, he's the, the seal prophet. Yep. And he's the last prophet. Yep. And God, by the way, the, the marriage of, the, of Aisha, it was God's choice. Okay? Now, God, God wants that anything happening inside his home, Yep. The private things, mm -hmm. okay, should be should be told by a wife, and why God chose to be a young? There's a wisdom behind it, mm. because being a young, she can memorize so many things happening inside the home of the prophet, okay. which is very good for the for the uh, revealing the, the the message of Islam. Okay, because imagine this: imagine that he married an old woman. Yep. What will happen? Two, three years, 
her, her mentality will not be the, that much strong that she can memorize. Maybe she will give them. But okay. God's wisdom, and as I told you, I repeat, right. this, the marriage of Aisha is a God's, God's choice. God commanded him. Okay. Now, imagine that after that, how many years Aisha lived after the death of the Prophet Muhammad? So many years. Yep. And this was for the benefits of the revealing the message of Islam so that she can tell so many things happening inside the home of the Prophet. Okay. Otherwise, if he is marrying an, an old woman, her mind will not be that much strong. She cannot memorize everything. So there is a wisdom behind it. It is okay. not like, okay, because he's, lo he's, having, lo uh, he's loving to have young, young girls. No, because if he, was, if, uh, if, uh, if he was doing like this, it means why he's marrying div uh, the widows and uh, divorced women. Yeah. Okay. Okay, can I respond? Yeah. Okay. So the last point you made about Muhammad marrying widows and divorced women and women who are older than yeah, him. Can you can mm -hmm. explain it? It's something that I already explained. How? how? You can be an exclusive. You can either be exclusively or non-exclusively attracted to children. There are people in prison today who have been. By the way, every every man. Can is I finish? Attracted Sorry, by a I listen to you. I listen to you. Okay. So in prison today, we have people who have been sent to prison because um, they sexualized children and they've molested children and so on. Some of them are exclusively attracted to children. Some of them are not exclu exclusively attracted to children. Clearly, Muhammad was not exclusively attracted to children. I would never argue that he was exclusively attracted to children. I'm aware that Khadija was older than him. But that's not the point. You made some other points. You said, you said that there is wisdom yes. in Allah giving Muhammad a young yes, wife. of course. And you mentioned broadly two points. One of the points was that because Aisha was young, she could remember a lot. Of course. And the second point you made is that because Aisha was young, she got to live a, a while after Muhammad and spread Muhammad's message. Plus, plus, sorry, plus, she's the one she can knows what was happening inside the home because okay. there are so many private things for the woman, okay. Muslim woman, to know. Okay. For example, how she can deal with okay. this, this thing, you know, woman things. I don't want to okay. mention it. Okay. And this, this should be only can be memorized by a young wife. Okay. Otherwise, no right. way. So, okay. okay. So, I accept you made all these points. My problem with these points is the following. If you believe in an all-powerful God, that all-powerful God could easily have given Muhammad a wife who was, for example, 10 years older given her good memory, allowed her to memorize everything, now, now, given now, her a long you, life, now, now you are can I finish in, saying, no, no, now you no. Are interfering I did in not God, interrupt in you, this is God's please, choice, don't interrupt. Yeah. please don't interrupt me. That is exactly the problem. Allah could have given Muhammad a wife who was 10 years older, who, was, um, who lived 10 years more so she could spread the message for like longer, and who had a good memory so she could memorize a lot. Your answer to that was, I'm interfering in God's plan. Well, that's exactly my problem. This is God's I don't, choice, by the way. No. We don't, we don't, okay. we don't I, question God why yes, he chose that one. Yes, God, God yes, commanded yes, him to yes. marry this Can young Can I finish woman? saying what yeah, I'm saying? Please. So, the problem, that's exactly the problem I have. I don't see why an all good God would promote something that is morally abhorrent. Because sexualizing Mor children... Sorry. Can I finish morally, saying what I'm saying? Please, who's let me finish moral saying. Or not moral? Is this please, let me issue? finish saying what yeah. I'm saying. So. Do you not, right, we'll get to that, but I don't see why an all good God who is all powerful and he could have made Muhammad's message spread in every other way, chose to give Muhammad a six-year-old bride who he then consummated the marriage with when she was nine. And here's my question to you. You're saying, you, you, you started saying, who am, who am I to ask, who am I to classify it as of morally course, abhorrent? Of don't you think that it's morally abhorrent to sexualize a nine-year-old. I, I told you, this is, I, again, we are repeating ourselves, by the way. Mm -hmm. I told you. First of all, we don't question God for what is his choice and what he's doing. And, and as I told you, it was a command from God that to, to marry this woman. Okay. And by the way, she was married to another woman. The same. The Who same was married I, to another she, woman? She, uh, sorry, she was married to another man before the Prophet. Do you know this? No. Please. Can you bring me the source? I can't bring source? you, but I, I'm afraid that I'm losing the battle. Just tell me, I'll find it. You can write uh, the uh, Aisha's 
marriage before Muhammad or something like that in Google you will find that he was, she was she was not a marriage she was like a uh, engaged oh, betrothal, and, yes uh, betrothal. she was betrothed she was, yeah okay. she was betrothed yes okay but the marriage Again, what, wasn't just repeat what was your question what was your uh, my question was don't you think that it's morally abhorrent to sexualize a nine-year-old you are asking me yes what do you mean by sexuality? Is this a marriage? To have an intercourse in a marriage. No, no, no. It's in a marriage. marriage. Yes, this fine, is a marriage. fine. Let me rephrase it's not, my question. He's not, he was Let not having a Aisha. Um, tell, tell Aisha was in Islam. If you reach puberty, you're not a child. Tell yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, I told her that even, you see. Plus, Isaac married a three-year-old. Yeah, yeah. Solomon also. also Siraj, Solomon. Siraj, Siraj, also, uh, Siraj. What's his name? Let's deal with the points one by one. No, what's his no, name? No, come on. Uh, Isaac and Rebecca, Siraj. Joseph and Mary. Siraj. Joseph so was many, 90, Mary so many was, Siraj. Mary Siraj. was 12, according okay. to encyclopedia. Yeah, let's, let's have one discussion. Joseph yeah. Yeah. Five We're having five. a discussion. Let's have yeah. one discussion. And also, there's no prohibition We're having in the Bible. Yeah. We're having a God never condemns pedophilia. We're having a discussion. You can have sleep with anyone. Uh, uh, from see, we're having, having a discussion. Uh, no, see, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, uh, I'll tell you. You, you want me to pull out something? Yeah. No, no, no please, please. Let's have a discussion. Have one discussion. I can talk to you, but I'll talk to you about the age. The Holy Spirit is pedophile. So how can you justify? God impregnated his own creation, Mary. Siraj. And the Siraj. Holy Spirit is way older than okay. Mary. Imagine God impregnating his own creation. Okay. See, Let's have pedophilia, that one. God is way Can older. Can we have a discussion? We are having a civilized See, discussion. You, my brother, his point is that you are always concentrating that the marriage of Plus, Aisha. That was you know, old age. No, no. Back in the days, it was Let's normal. But now, even charge of England, European, <laughs> they used to do and and child marriage. Really? I know. Oh, okay. I know. Really? Yeah. Child marriage. Let's have one discussion. Back so, in the days, King child Richard. marriage. King Henry II, he married a seven-year-old woman. Old woman. I it was it normal. Was but now it's not normal. Yeah. Different century. King Richard II. Different century, different role. Married a seven-year-old. Yeah, 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 that's morally wrong. Uh, I told her. That's morally wrong. Okay. 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 I explained to her. Okay. Okay. And no Are we done? Are we done? The Bible said you can marry a six-year-old. Are we done? From flower age. From age six to fourteen. One Corinthians chapter seven. That's thirty-six. Are you going to keep going with us? I already told it. Okay. okay. See, as again. Okay. I, what point what do you want to make? See, I'll tell you. I again, had a question. No, no. No, you've been very fair, so see, thank see, you. I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I, I noticed that you are always insisting that it was a sexual. You are insisting that it's not a marriage. It's a marriage. You know what's the difference between a marriage and having fun with a, with a one one night girl? Yes. There is no question. It was, in, ah, it was within no, no, a marriage. No, no. no question. I don't disagree see, with that. This is a respected marriage. Yeah. It's not that he was playing with the girls and he was having yeah. her fun. Be careful. It's a marriage, okay? Yes. Now, second thing, you, you, what was your point? Yes. About? I asked you a question, so let me re let me just repeat that question okay. before Siraj came over. So, my question was, do you think that it's morally wrong to have sex with a nine-year-old, even if it's inside a marriage, even if that's within a marriage? No, because he, first of all, the one who can tell it is wrong or right, first of all, scientists maybe, mm. doctors, okay, okay, and her ability, if she's able to to handle it, that's it, finish. Okay. And you can give, uh, we can, as I, my brother, give you examples of uh, so many uh, in the past, before 400 years back, before... Uh, maybe 300 bags, so many uh, married uh, uh, a young uh, girl. Why you are you concentrating on this? See, you are leaving a big... Now, see, Islam is the fastest growing religion on earth. Okay, we're changing the topic. Are, no, no, no. I I'm, can talk no, to you about no, no, other no, no, topics no, no, another topic another time. Because, see, I'm, but now we're I'm, changing I'm the topic. Because I was, so I'm not talking about you specifically. I'm talking about, I saw many people here. They are concentrating, they are leaving the big achievements of Islam, the growth of Islam, the so many things Islam is bringing and they are just concentrating on why he is marrying a young girl. Sure. I'm explaining to you, sure. he was first married because of God, God commanded him. Yep. Second, there is a wisdom, if you think about it, there is a wisdom yep. behind marrying a young girl. Yep. A young girl, she can memorize so many So at this point hadith, you're just repeating, so, so at this point, I'm living. sorry okay. for interrupting you, but at this point you're repeating are, the okay. same points that okay. we went over. Okay. So let me respond to you in two ways. The first question is, why am I concentrating on that? I agree, there is a lot more to Islam yeah. than this, and we can talk about it another time, but let's keep this topic for now. So, 
on the question why I'm concentrating on this. I have a huge problem with this because I don't believe that an all good God would allow something so morally wrong to happen and then say that Muhammad is a prophet. You think? Sorry, let me finish, please. So who you let are me finish. Think about let me there finish. So let me finish. Other... Let me finish. Okay. So I don't think that a morally. Sorry, I don't think that. A perfectly good God is you going to. You don't think you said. <laughs> sorry, but I don't know. This is personal. You said I don't think. I'm trying. I'm trying to be respectful to you. Let's keep it respectful. Doctors, yes, I will get to that. If you let me get to that, I will get to that. I am about to get to that. Very well, famous research. I am about to get to that. Say about this. I am about to get to that. I am about to get to that. Okay. Um, you made two points, so I'm responding to these two points. If you don't let me get to the second point, we'll never get there. Okay. I'm first going to respond to your first point, yeah. and I'm going to start from the start, because yeah. I, I don't like being interrupted. Yeah. I'm already unclear enough. It's best that I start from the start, okay. so maybe someone okay. will understand what I'm saying at the end. Right, so my point is the following. I have a problem with that, because I don't think that a perfectly good God is going to allow a child to be subjected to what is essentially child sexual abuse at the age of nine. Okay. Sure. And can, I can we have a, a point Yeah, by you point? just made two points and I'm responding to your two points. Okay. And in addition to that, in addition to that, I don't think that um, even if that was some kind of even if this was something that Muhammad just did and it's not what Allah would have wanted, Allah said that Muhammad is the perfect moral example for mankind. Mankind didn't just live at the time of Muhammad, mankind exists today. Mankind exists today and so I think, like, would you say that it's right today for someone within a marriage to have sex with a nine-year-old today? Today? Yeah. Uh, I'm re we are repeating the same thing. I told you. So it's right today. It, no, see, I'm not the one who can tell if if she is ready for that, and okay. he, uh, medically, scientific says so researcher okay. says okay, okay. okay. Who, who am I to say no? Okay. So let's read some actual medical sources. Can we go to another point? No, but you made this point, so I'd like Because to respond. Because you know, we, we okay. are elaborating so many, so much for this. Yeah. Okay. So. <sighs> sexual molestation of children can lead oh. to long-term psychological see, see. trauma that includes they don't say that it's a marriage they, they are just going Do to you show others that it, he was just playing so uh, with the girls that's where we differ i don't think he was playing with the girls i think he married her and i think but the way you are speaking it's it, 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 yes it, it, it gives, it gives yes. impression that that's he was having fun with no the girl he was not no he i'm not giving no. that impression i'm very very clear no, no, that that way, happened way, within a marriage but what i'm saying is that a nine-year-old cannot consent to having sex Who and are science you to says say? sorry science says no, science says yeah. so we already no, went no, over no, that no, point no, we already no. went over the development no, of the brain and let me let me tell you what happens when children are molested have, what's the problem? What makes her ready? I mean, f physically, if she is ready for how to have, can she be physically be ready? A nine-year-old is this tall. Her hips aren't developed. Her, um, well, essentially, like her sexual reproductive system is not developed. It becomes dangerous for her to have okay, sex. Okay, I'll tell you something. I'll tell at you that something. Age. Uh, how can you explain? his other marriages if he was looking for I already explained this are you going to make a point that I haven't well, already I addressed also, I'm, I'm already explained to you but you are not uh, you are repeating the same thing what have you explained to me I explained to you this is that if she's if she's nine and at the hot area she was yeah. ready physically ready yeah. and at that time this kind of marriage was very normal yeah. so what is your what is and your and i already explained to you and i What's already brought you i brought you i think seven sources seven that. sources that show that at the time when muhammad married aisha or the, like the surrounding couple of centuries around the time muhammad married aisha in the region of the middle east and in the roman empire women were mar getting married around the age of their late teens no, the to early 20s what did he show me? British king, I don't know his yes. name. He yes. was marrying yes. also a young yes. woman. Yes, One so year. let me address that point. There were European Christian kings of Christian countries who indeed married um, children. Okay. Okay, the vast majority of these cases, the marriage was not consummated. There were political marriages, so it was betrothals. That is the vast majority of cases. But where it did happen, where it did happen, it was wrong. It was absolutely morally wrong, and I have no problem saying that. Who says wrong? 
Who says wrong? You say wrong? Science says wrong because no. if you if you have sex with a nine year old child, that child has is very likely to develop severe both physical please, and mental health problems. Please define for me a child. What is okay. a child? Define it please. I would define as a child someone who hasn't gone through puberty. And by that I mean fully gone through puberty. This is a child? Yes. Okay. And if, if she was ready uh, physically, she's ready to have to have uh, birth. Yeah. Do you still call her a child? There is no way. There is no way a nine-year-old had fully gone through puberty. So yes, I would call her a child. Okay. So we are we are in a good. Uh, we are, I don't know. If you want to have another point, because I already explained to you everything. I don't know. Well, I really want to understand. I really want to understand this one thing. Yours, are you saying that even today there may be circumstances where it's right for someone to marry a nine-year-old and have sex with no, a nine-year-old? No, I didn't say that. Please don't put the words in my mouth. No, that's what I'm said, asking you. I'm asking I said, you. I said, I said, the criteria of today is different than the criteria of yesterday. Okay. okay. Plus, the rules are, are changing. The definition of child is changing from now, from the past. Let's say if you are putting the, the child, for yeah. example, what is the child age? Okay. What is the child so age? So let me address the first point you made. The first point you made is that what is good today wasn't necessarily good at the time of Muhammad, and what is bad today isn't necessarily bad. The criteria the changes, of, of course. Okay. Okay. So that's called moral relativism. And I will show you that you yourself have problems with moral relativism. Moral? Rel relativism. I'll show you. What is so, the, yeah. we live in a society. We live in a society where, for example, gender transitioning is considered fine and right. Are you? Do you consider that morally good? Do you consider a man transitioning to you a woman a Christian? morally good? Yeah. You're a Christian. Yeah. Before I answer you, can you tell me: Is it in the Bible? Is it okay in the Bible? Or the trans? trans the Bible doesn't address it. No, no. I want your opinion. Because I just see, told you my opinion, but I asked see, you a question. You know, all the prophets, all the prophets were commanded from God. So the source of the commands are from God. Yeah. So what is in the Bible should be, should be also in the Quran because we are in the same source. The source, our source of commands from God. So if, if you found, have you found in the Bible yep. or in the Torah? Yeah. Anything related to this? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you directly. I don't think, as far as I know, and I don't know everything about the Bible, as far as I know, the Bible doesn't address transsexualism. There is, uh -huh, there is no such thing. No, no, I'll tell you. Yeah, it doesn't address it. There so that's no, what I'm... So, so I've answered your no question. There is no such thing. So this is just... Uh, can you answer my question? Made up. Though? Can this you is, answer? by the way, made up. Uh, by the way, these kind of things are made up recent years before... 10, 20 years, it was completely okay. against the law, that's, even against the law that's, here that's, in Europe. That's fine, that's your opinion, that's fine. But what I ask you is, do you think it's morally good? Because Western societies consider it acceptable and See, morally good. Okay, do you so, consider uh, it morally good? Morally not good, I'll tell you why. Okay, uh, go Let on. me tell you. There go on. Is, See, by, by the way, sometimes if you want to know things, whether it is good or not, you try to what they call it, the critical thinking. Try to know the results. Then from the results, you come back and you know if it is good or not. Okay. I'll give you a small example. For example, a door, a door, you know. Okay. If you want to know whether the door is okay or not, okay. useful or not useful, so okay. what you do, you are in a, living in a, in, a, in a room and there is no door. What will happen? You cannot get out. Sure. So, okay, so the door is, is, is okay. The same thing. What is the use, what is the benefits as a, in the society for this, those the transgenders or what, yeah. is, what is the benefit? They cannot give birth to, they, they don't multiply, they don't, because the society, for the stability of the society, there should be multiplication because society needs, needs production, needs uh, someone to work, someone to have uh, agriculture, someone have, w w wants to have, uh, you know, workers okay. in the machines. They need, they need soldiers, they need males, strong males. Okay. How can you defend your country if okay. all, most, of the, most of the soldiers are sorry for this case? Right, so let can, me... No, no, just explain, give me this answer for this. Right, so uh, you made quite a few points, but 
I will very briefly address them and then I will go back to where I started because I had a question and I asked you that question for a very specific purpose. Yes. Okay. So on the point, on you made quite a few points. Um, there are a lot of benefits of people. Human beings have value, whether or not they're transsexual or not. So reducing their value to reproduction and Sorry, I, what service I, in the what military I meant is that the purpose of having male and female mm. uh, is yep. more beneficial than having yep. gays. Okay. Because, I, even I don't, I don't like to pronounce it. Right. Okay. More beneficial for the yep. society, for the stability of the society, for the security of the society. Yep. Okay. Than to have gays, which they cannot do anything. They cannot okay. multiply. They don't even defend the country. If there's someone coming to invade no. uh, Britain, for example. Who will send for soldiers? They are not well, soldiers. They cannot even. Uh, well, homosexuals the, can serve in the army. The homosexuals can serve in the army. There is no problem with homosexuals serving in the army. But let's go back to the point. You need a strong male. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We live in a we live in a society that has we have modern weaponry that can be operated by oh men and women. God. We have. You need anyway, strong muscles. Sorry. Let's strong not muscles. let's not change the topic. Let's go back to the topic. Okay. So I asked you. I asked you if. Being a transsexual is morally good, and I asked you that because you, it's, yes. Let me let me just make yeah. my point. I wasn't interrupting you. Please yeah, okay, don't interrupt. Okay. Me. okay. So I asked you if being a transsexual today just, is can morally. I lean? Can I lean? Yes, let's lean. Let's lean. Okay. So I asked you if that's morally good, and I asked you that because it's widely accepted in Western societies. Okay. So you said no, it's not morally good, right? Uh, for me, I don't know about yep. you, it's up to, it's up to you Fine. if you accept it or not, but for me, because I it's told not. you some, many you. times, if you want to know whether this is good or, for, for or not, yep. you take the results yep. of it. Yep. 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 Uh, I gave you an example of the door. If there is... I know what you... Let's not repeat. Let me just finish what yeah, I'm okay, saying. So, in other words, what you just said is that things that are commonly accepted in a specific culture at a specific time don't necessarily, aren't necessarily morally good. And that's exactly what I am saying, because morality is not relative. Because morality does not depend on the place you live and the time you live. And uh, in, the same way, okay. Okay, in yes. the same way, in the same way, you can have your opinion about whether or not homosexuality is good or bad. You can have this opinion and you can ground it in something that you believe is intrinsically true. It's either true or it's not true. In much the same way, I am saying it is wrong and it has always been wrong so to have intercourse, so to it? have intercourse with a nine-year-old, it has always oh, been wrong. Oh, again, you are back to this point. Why you are linking transgender with with the, uh, the, with the young? Because medical? I am showing you that morality can be is subjective. There are things that are wrong, not in a specific place and time, but always. And sexualizing children is one of these things that is always children. wrong. It's always wrong, whether it's within a marriage or outside a marriage. Have you read whether about the Islamic history? Have you read about the life of the wife, uh, Aisha wife? She was a very, she was a scholar. There are many How people, there are many people who have been sexually abused as children who went on to have great lives and to achieve a lot. That does not mean that they weren't victims of something that shouldn't have happened to them. I don't agree about this. And I, I hope that we can move to another point if you like. But uh, yes, we are, same, we are repeating ourselves. I, I don't want to repeat the same answers again. Yeah, I mean... You were, you were talking about transgenders and you, you told me this about the morality and you said yeah. you, you disagree about it, right? With what the discourse? Transgendering sir? this. No, I didn't, I didn't have any opinion on that. I, I didn't have any you opinion didn't have on that. Opinion? How, how come? You should have a, an opinion. You should say yes or no. How come you, you are gray? You are in a gray area? Yeah, I didn't have an opinion of that. I told you I think transsexuals are valuable See, human beings always, who are made always, in the image of God. Always. You take the results of something and you, based on the results, you come up with a conclusion of whether it is good or not. Yeah. What, well, what, what benefits the trans, those yeah, gay, yeah. gays? Sorry for this. Well, well, for the okay. safety, nothing. They are yeah, not doing anything. Yeah, yeah, they are yeah, destroying yeah. the modernity. They are, yeah. I don't know what to say. So we're debating a different topic, like we're debating a different topic, but where so we... please, can we move to another point? What point would you like to move the to? The other point, the other, for example, okay, I can, I can guide you for whatever. Can you explain to me the, the number or the, the, the high, the growth of the Islam in all walks of life, in all the countries? How can you explain okay. it? Okay. Do you know in Germany? Okay. 
most of the Muslims are women. Besides what you say about the haters who are saying about young, about the marriage of the Aisha and this one, okay. in Germany, okay. the highest percentage of Muslims are, are women. Okay. Do you Let know me, this? Okay. Google it, please. Okay, hear me out. I don't want to, I like, you were very, you were very, very polite. We had a good discussion, so I want to do the same in response, and I want to have a good discussion to you on a topic of your choice. See, uh, but you he, can have whatever you want to discuss, no, no, no. but please do not insult my prophet. Do not insult. I didn't him. insult no, your no, prophet. I, mean, I didn't. Unless, I didn't say anything about I, your prophet. If, I, if you are insulting my prophet, see, Muslims will not reply back. Sure. We are not insulting Jesus because we respect Jesus. Okay. We have to respect Jesus. Okay. Did I insult so, Muhammad? No, no, I know, but okay. I'm, I mean, so whatever you want to discuss, with okay. no problem. Okay. So, but please don't repeat the same point. Okay, I, I think we've exhausted. I, already, I think we've exhausted that yeah, point. Yeah, I already explained. But I think we've exhausted that point. Um, you asked about the growth of Islam. Hear me out. It's yeah. already half eight. It's already half eight, and I will need to get going soon. I can give you a short response, but if you want, next time I'm more than happy to talk it's, to you about that. What, again, what's happening? Half eight. It's eight thirty. It's, it's eight thirty. It's half eight p.m. Ah, okay. So I need to go soon. Ah, okay. But well, it's simply, you can just write uh, Google the Islamic growth, for example. No, 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 I know. And, uh, in uh, Britain, hi. Well, yeah. How can I explain it? Yeah. And by the can way, can I give you a quick response? Uh, uh, just one minute. I'll yep. tell you one thing. See. Sometimes, if you I, see, I, I'm an engineer. Sometimes, if you want to know that something is is abnormal or something is growing uh, normally, from that statistical data, you will know that the growth of Islam is happening in all walks of life. Okay. I mean, I, engineers, among workers, among yeah. blacks, among okay. white. Okay. It is not like other, for example, it's like the, the, the Hindus or yep. the Buddhists. They are only growing in certain area, okay. in a certain area, geographical area, okay. which means that it okay. is because of some influences. Okay. But when you see that Islam is growing east and west in the China, in Japan, okay. different languages, okay. different cultures, women, and so can I respond to you? Just one minute. I, I will give it to you. Okay. And the most important thing, which is very, very amazing, it is increasing among the women, which haters blame Islam for uh, degrading women. Right. Can Imagine, I? Yeah. Can, can you, I can, respond? Yeah, only, okay. Just, okay. Just, I'll just I'll just tell you what I'm gonna do now. It's half eight. I'll need to go. I'll give you a short response. But if you want next time, I'm more than happy to talk Actually, about that. I'm, uh, I'm traveling. I'm here just for one week. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm traveling to Jordan. Yeah. Okay. So we, can, we can have an email right. and we can... Okay, let's do that. Let's yeah, do that. Yeah, okay. okay, so the growth of Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world. It's not the only religion that's growing in the world, but it is the fastest growing religion in the world. The well, primary... Which other religion is growing? Uh, Christianity is also growing. Do you know that church... Churches are, are sold. Do you know that churches yes, are empty? Yes, but can you let me finish what yeah, I'm okay. saying? Go okay, on, okay. On. The main reason why Christian, why Islam is growing, huh? is because of the high birth rates in Muslim countries. And the main reason Muslim countries have high birth rates is because most Muslims live in the underdeveloped world, and the underdeveloped world has always and will continue to have higher birth rates than the developed world. So that's the main reason. No, what Apart mean? from that, you get like the e, like Muslims who are giving people dawah are doing a very good job of giving dawah. I don't deny See, that. Actually, we are very, very, I, I'll tell you. Do you know, I'll tell you. Do you know I was in Europe? Yep. I don't want to mention the country. Do you know how much money they are spending to make people uh, to preach for the Christianity? Oh, I mean, that's I, on all sides. No, no, no you. question. That's Do you know that sides. they are doing so many yep. uh, parades or something yep. like concerts singing and paying money <laughs> do you know i i saw this one in europe okay. i don't want to mention the country they they give envelopes yep. have you seen any other Muslim brothers maybe they are most of them are bankrupted yeah they are giving envelopes and address they say please take okay. this address and they will pay him pay them just to convert them to christianity we don't do like this one we never do like this why so, because we are only commanded by god no. Just to tell the truth. I've seen oh. I've seen Muslims do that. You see? I've seen Muslims do that. That doesn't mean most Muslims do that. I think most Muslims don't do that. But I've seen Muslims do that. Do, so do you might pain? find a bad apple among Christians. You can find a bad apple among Muslims. But that doesn't mean that all Muslims are bad or all Christians are bad. I had a really good discussion with you. Uh, I'd so love like to. We don't check. Okay. Okay. That's For fine. 
is good respect. Yeah, um, thank you. You were very respectful, so thank I appreciate you very much. that. Thank you. If you want to, we can share our email. I'm happy to. I'm happy to do that. Let's just. Okay. And I hope that you read the Quran, please, if you. I am reading it bit by bit. I haven't read all of it. I'm reading it bit by bit. I can write down my email for you. Well, let me write it down because if the camera is on, it's probably good that we don't give, yeah, don't, we don't course, say it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> right. This is just my email. Do you want to take a picture of mine? Just, and just send me an email. I'll give you just one. If you just take a picture and then send me an email, I can respond to you. Uh, okay, I understand. Just do you want to do that? because. Uh, is the camera still on? Okay, I want to do a wrap up, yeah. but they're going to cut it. So we're just exchanging emails. You're very respectful, Ger. I don't know Same why others, uh, others they say they're, they have another another point. I don't know why. Okay, let me take a picture and then I'll let you take a picture of mine. Thank you for Amjad. that. This is, there's no dash. This is Amjad, huh? Okay, take a picture of that. Okay. Here. Okay. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Very much. Thank you. Lovely talking to you. Have a great evening. Enjoy your trip. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Let's do a quick wrap up now. I don't know. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay. Okay. So a quick wrap up. Um, so we had a good conversation. He was very, very respectful. So I appreciate that we managed to have a very calm conversation and I, I tried my best to like not be insulting in any way. That doesn't change the fact that I have a huge problem with the fact that Mohammed married Aisha when she was six and consummated the marriage with Aisha when she was nine. There are a range of responses that I've heard from Muslims in the park on this topic. Some of them will say, some of them will say that Mohammed didn't marry Aisha when she was six and didn't consummate the marriage until she was nine. So, sorry, or actually consummated the marriage when she was mature. The problem is, I'll give you a few sources. There, there are many sources, but I'll give you a few. Um, so, Sahih Bukhari 558, um, Sahih Bukhari 762, Sahih Bukhari 762, Sahih Muslim 83311, all show that Muhammad married Aisha when she was six and consummated that marriage when she was nine. So it's not true according to according to their clear Sahih Hadith. And she was Yes. Sorry, I'm just doing. Sorry. Right. The second thing that Muslims will quite often say is that even though Aisha was nine, she was already mature. According to Muslim sources, that is not true. That is not true. Because in another hadith, in another Sahih Hadith, Aisha says that when Muhammad married her and consummated the marriage with her she was still playing with those and she had not had her period yet specifically the, the point about the period is slightly different it basically says that she was playing with those in islam playing with those is considered shirk only someone who isn't considered mature and someone who isn't responsible for their sins can play with those without that being shirk and so it shows us it shows us that aisha was still a child, she was not considered mature. Another response we often hear from Muslims is that, is that back at the time of Muhammad, women were maturing earlier than today. Science shows the exact opposite. And I just gave this brother about seven different sources, scientific academic sources, that show that the average wage, age at which women married in late antiquity and early, um, in the early Middle Age, around the Mediterranean, was actually somewhere between mid-teens and early 20s. And so that shows us that even at the time of Muhammad, marrying a nine-year-old was something abhorrent. And finally, morality is not relative. Morality is subjective. And that's what I showed when I asked him, when I asked him if he accepts homosexuality or um, transsexualism as something that is morally good. He said, no, that's not morally good. He's allowed to have his opinion. However, the point I was making there is that 
if homosexuality is widely accepted today, by his own logic, he ought to consider it morally good. However, he doesn't consider it morally good. And therefore, he himself does not believe that morality is relative. He himself thinks that morality is subjective. And therefore, he should reject the abhorrent practice of child marriage. And he should accept that consummating some, a marriage with a nine-year-old is morally wrong and it puts that child at risk of horrible mental health and physical health issues.